Britain was just starting to recover from World War II back then. Thousands of buildings had been bombed, lots of houses had been destroyed and it all needed to be rebuilt. And lots of young men and women had served in the British Armed Forces because at the time many Caribbean countries were still under British rule and not yet independent. They got on a ship, the Empire Windrush, which left the Caribbean to travel thousands of miles across the Atlantic. For the first time, so many Caribbean people had come to live in Britain. Many more came the following years. It was June 22nd, 1948, when the Empire Windrush arrived at Tilbury Docks in Essex. When the passengers landed, they didn't always get the friendly welcome they'd hoped for. Many of them experienced racism and often found it hard to get a proper home to live in. It wasn't easy for new arrivals to get jobs. Some companies said they didn't want black people to work for them. Later, many children were bullied at school because of the colour of their skin. They faced res- racism, including signs saying no colour, no Irish, no dogs. It is more than 70 years since the Empire wind was sailed to Britain from the Caribbean. An estimated 500,000 people now living in the UK who arrived between 1948 and 1971 from the Caribbean countries have been called the Windrush Generation. Just a flavor.